All right, once again, problem number four. Okay, we are trying to find the probability or the z-score so that 25% of the data on the line falls to the right of the z-score. So I do my bell-shaped curve. I do my bell-shaped curve. I do my 25% of my data goes to the right of that. Now, once again, translation to what we we're talking about. We we're talking about probability when you're talking about percent of. That's also your area. So if I take a look at my area, if this is 25%, what does this area have to be? Right here. What does that area, this area have to be? 0.25. So this area here is 0.2500. Now, your Z table, your Z table gives you the area from zero to a z-score. I have I've had here the area from the z-score to the right. So if I look at the area from zero to that z-score, what's the area from zero to that z-score have to be? If this entire this area is 0.25, what's this area have to be here, Jaden? 0.25. Zero, zero. Because to the right of my or to the right of my zero, I have to have 0.5. To the left, I have to have 0.5. So if this is 0.25, this is 0.25. So now I go to my body of my table. I look at my Z table, everything in the middle, and I look for the value that's closest to 0.2500. Zero, zero. I'm looking at all the numbers within the table. All the numbers within the table. Which one's closest to 0 0.2500? Zero, zero? Now it's not gonna be exact, but you can get one that's close enough to it. Nehemiah, what's the z-score for that? Uh, 0 0.67. 0 0.67, and this is on the right, so it's a positive, 0.67. Other questions you have about the types of problems that are here that are here. We take a look at problem. Most times when it's straightforward, we don't have much difficulty. It's usually the the process that you have to put in reverse is where we start running into problems. Uh, let's see. Let's look at problem number seven. Look at part B. Mandatory competence test for high school juniors has a normal distribution, the mean of 325, standard deviation 65. The bottom 5% that score on this must have attend summer school. What has to be the cutoff score? What's the cutoff score? That bottom 5% have to attend summer school. What's the cutoff score have to be? Well, the first thing we have to determine is we need to determine a Z value. You okay? Yeah. This here is the bottom 5%. which means this area right here to the left, Todd has to be what? 0 0.05. If this is 5%, what percent goes from this z-score to zero? If this is 5%, what percentage is this gonna be, Andrew Wyckoff? 45%. Which means if this is 45%, Tyler, what does this area have to be? 0.45. So I can look up in my table, 0 0.4500. 
Now this is the one that's going to be halfway in between. So I'd accept right now either of them. Next week it'll be a little bit more established for you when we start going through additional stuff. So if we look at 0.4500, zero, zero, you're going to be halfway in between two values. Mention one of the two values. 1.64, 1.65. Okay, and I'll just, I would accept either or, but I'm going to go with the 1.65 because that's typically what we utilize. If you use 1.64, I would accept that as a solution also for this test. Next test will be a little bit different. But the one thing that we have to watch out for here is that we are lying left of the zero here. So what do I have to put with the 1.64 or 1.65, Callie? A negative. So these have to be negative because I'm going to the left. I'm going to use the 1.65, but once again, if you use 1.64, that is fine. We have a mean of 325. We have a standard deviation of 65. We want to find what is the actual cutoff score. Well, this is one that we have to work things in reverse. Z is equal to value minus the mean divided by standard deviation. What we need to calculate is we need to calculate the value. That's what we're trying to find here. That's the one that we worked, we unworked this, we multiplied both sides by the standard deviation. And then we can add the mean to both sides. So this value is equal to mean plus a z-score times the standard deviation. So we can throw in the values. The mean is 325. Our z-score is negative 1.65. And the standard deviation is 65. Emily, what's the value come down to? Um, 217.75, 217.8. Which means if you score below 217, or you score below, two, below 218, uh, you'll have to go to summer school. Once again, if you use the negative 1.64, you get 218.4. Any other questions you have? Today we have an in-class assignment. You can use your books, notes, homework. Just can't use each other. When you're done, there's another worksheet up here, very similar to this one. Tomorrow then will be a review day. Wednesday will be the quiz over chapter five. That will lead well into going through our other chapter and doing a, we'll have two quizzes in a chapter.
chapter test, the unit test before Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, we have a couple more chapters to cover. And we will have final before we have, before we go on Christmas break. When you're done once again, you can bring it up here. There's another worksheet up here for you.